hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome again in today's transformation we are going to transform a trench coat into uh, a skirt and a waistcoat so lay everything on the ground and make sure like you use the biggest part of the of the fabric that seems you know straight that you don't have to unpick anything or whatever like, i hope you understand what i mean so that's what i did here i'm trying to see how i can use this fabric um, efficiently and not have it wasted and making sure i get what i want out of it so the next step for me was to get the patterns i was like ah okay let me make shorts see what fits out of it but unfortunately the second a pattern piece couldn't work i'm sorry i have to keep looking here because i have to see what i'm doing and explain it properly so if i'm not looking at you i'm looking down here so i decided to make a skirt that's why you see that i'm cutting not according to the pattern pieces i'm making a skirt because the fabric was not enough for uh, trousers as you can see so i didn't really make the cut there I don't know if that was clear. So I put the skirt together, cut off the edges, I cut the edges, cut off everything, you know, make it clean. And again, I use the same technique as the first video. If you haven't watched my previous video, please go ahead where I made the uh, uh, trousers from French coat. So I'm trying to make the sides even and uh, make sure everything fits perfectly back and front. So when you're done, you're going to sew, first of all, first overlock all the borders, don't forget, overlock all the borders and then join the skirt together. This is what I'm doing right now. So after the skirt, after the skirt, I went to the top, the, the waistcoat, that's supposed to be a waistcoat. And, um, I think, okay, that's better. And, hmm. Here I'm trying to see what I can get out of the top. As you can see, I didn't completely destroy the top, excuse me, the top part. I didn't completely destroy it because you just never know what will come out of it. So you try as much as possible to leave the original structure so that you don't have to draft everything from scratch, right? That's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to see what, which of these pieces I can easily manipulate to look like a waistcoat that's what i'm trying to do here and voila i found something so i got my bra top and i pinned it to the to the paper because i wanted to dress it out and make like a proper fitting uh, cap for myself so i cut it out dressed it out uh, to 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 see like how wide or how high should the uh, paper as you can see, that's what I'm doing, chasing it out on paper. Next uh, was me trying it on my titty to see if it fits and if it covers the whole, you know, cup. Initially, it was supposed to be corsetti. You know, when you see the end, I will, you'll see what I mean. It was meant to be corsetti, very tight and all, all, all of that. But as I went on working, I realized that it takes its own shape. I cannot force it. I need to see where to place the cup so that I can, you know, shape it according to my uh, bust area. Get what I mean? Yeah. So once I was done with that, I had to get the lining fabric. I lined the fabric properly. And then I cut, that's the lining fabric from the original trench coat. Yes. Cut, 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 Schneiderei, Schneiderei. Cut, 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 cut. Yep. So now that we're done with cutting our corsets, sweethearts, what is next is that we're going to join them. You know the lining and the main body you're going to join them sew together and while you're sewing uh, one tip is uh, 
don't forget to iron because once you turn it this is an important part of ironing like once you turn the other way it has to look neat and, and you know to till the edge you know I don't know if you get what I mean yes that's what I did here so I had to iron because it has to bring out the shape of the bust that I wanted to like cut out anyway so here we have our pieces here we go here we go I joined the bag I was trying to figure out how can I use the bag and here we are I'm trying to use the bag so I pin them together and you know all the mind you this time during this time I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to make <laughs> isn't that crazy yeah I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to make out of this so yeah even during that moment I'm not quite sure I'm, I'm quite positive it's going to be corsetti and you know steer you know what I mean like but it wasn't anyways I figured it out I was like okay let it be loose fitting let it be like one of those crop crop tops that are tent that have a tent illusion if you know what I mean yeah so I decided to do that instead so I used one of the I think it's called a placket or the one the, the one that you button up in front of the trench coat I didn't destroy it I used I kept in mind that I have to use it for a waistband anyway so that is me attaching our waistband the waistband and don't forget to press that waistband so as you can see yes it's it's a it's a waistband now I decided to keep the buttons why waste them I mean probably I'll use them some other time so that's me finishing up the the waistband you know uh, top stitching within a stitch itself <laughs> it's magic and uh, I tried on the skirt and the waistline was very it was gaping and it has to be tight so I had to improvise oh stupid of me actually not to think about it I thought it was going to be high waisted anyways so yeah I had to put elastic to cinch the waist in that's another technique if something of yours is too big you can use elastic in the back to gather it you know I usually use it for jeans so here it is as a finished, you know, product, right? And here I am. Look at me. Look at pretty me wearing what I made from upcycled um, material. So I don't know if this is inspiring or not. However, there's one thing I need to say. The pockets are not perfect, as you can see. But I think I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. Should I have done something different? This is my question would you have done something different and what would that be comment down below guys thanks for listening to me i think i was ranting a lot but if this was helpful don't forget to let me know don't forget to hit the subscribe button share with your friends uh, for a good cause it's upcycling we're saving the environment we are reducing waste we are reducing textile waste i comment everything subscribe okay thanks guys and take care